Hey everybody, it's Troy Ryder here from TTMFTW.com and I just wanted to do a short video on how I prepare my letter of request. Now, a letter of request is simply where you ask someone for an autograph and chances are you start off that letter with how you enjoyed them in whatever or I enjoy watching you play whatever sport. Now the problem with this is most places say to keep it short and if you use a full sheet of paper that results in a lot of white space, whether it's uh, the letter all at the top and white space at the bottom or you double space your paragraphs and so it looks just really spread out. Now some people have actually said that they cut pieces of paper in half and do that whether it's copy paper or regular notebook paper and that works for them that's great. What I do is uh, a little more technologically savvy per se. What I do is I actually go to Staples and actually buy miniature notebooks. I know, stay with me. Um, <laughs> rather than cut a sheet of notebook paper in half or cut copy paper in half where you, you might go uphill or downhill as you write, even if you put a guide in the back of the paper, I just have a hard time staying on that line. And so what I did was I actually bought uh, just a college rule notebook that's one of the smaller ones. And this actually works out pretty well. I start the date on the first line, I start my return address on the third line, and then I start my letter after that. Now, I pretty much have, I wanna say between five to 10 lines, uh, maybe a little more of how I enjoy their project um, and other things. Then after that, I go into the ask. I know you're busy, but it would really be great if blah, blah, blah. And by doing that on one of these pieces of paper, it pretty much always ends up looking right. I mean, everything is spaced right. Uh, doesn't look like it's too much for someone to read and it just works wonderfully. Um, so that is what I do. I just get the small pieces of paper. Um, I also like writing out the letters versus typing. I know there's a lot of controversy in the community, whether that actually helps. I think it helps, uh, especially with uh, baseball cards, because with baseball cards, whether you have a teenager writing it or an older 30, 40 on up person writing it, um, writing it on notebook paper is something that um, how do I put this, is something that you'd expect from someone that's actually still in college or in high school or junior high. And a lot of times people's writings look like they're still in high school or junior high, uh, even when they're older. And so writing it on notebook paper also gives that subtle clue that maybe it's someone that isn't going to sell the autograph. That's my opinion anyway. Um, and so I, I handwrite everything and if it's on notebook paper, that's even better. So anyway, that is just a short video on how I prepare my letter of requests. Um, success rate varies, you know, some weeks are really good and some weeks are dead. I think that's just the result of the week. It's nothing to do with the letter, I hope. Uh, <laughs> but I just wanted to share what I do and hopefully I'll be able to give more tips of how I collect as we go along. So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for visiting. My